global citizens. Yeah, I don't give a damn. Yeah. I might end up in Namibia. Yeah. I might end up in Brazil. I've been to Brazil in some of these countries around right where I speak mm -hmm. about already. So if I end up there, I'm a global citizen, people. We are we are related to the oldest people on the earth, Homo sapiens sapiens. That means we've been around this whole globe. Yeah. So don't tell me I need to stay in one spot, okay? That's you. <laughs> That's you. I could be all, if I get the opportunity, I have to go there. We gonna go there. Mm -hmm. Not with, yeah. yeah. Got nothing to do with I even speak the language or what. It's mm -hmm. opportunity. It's yes, whatever. I well, come back to this channel. My name is Go See Africa. I'm a travel and a YouTuber from Kenya, Africa. Today, I'm meeting Shabi from the Black Geo. Sir. This guy is a world traveler. You have seen his content, the kind of content he does from the Black Geo. If you haven't seen the Black Geo, kindly uh, check him out. Subscribe yeah, to his channel. Like, subscribe, people. Yeah, comment there. Yeah. Say that, t tell him that Go See Africa told you to subscribe. Yeah. yeah? yeah. You know, I, I have a discussion I want to have with you. Okay. Uh, in the course of your travels, mm -hmm. has anyone ever called you a uh, passport bro? Do you yeah. think uh, that can have a negative effect on your, maybe your, your, your men, mental well-being or you appreciate it? Yeah, because I'm a person who understands what a passport bro is. And I, I'll tell people all the time, I'm not a passport bro. I've been traveling since I was a kid. Probably we can start by maybe telling them what being a passport bro is. All right, so this is my definition, people. People who are like me, who work on the dark side, or who have foreign parents who've been traveling around the world, we're not passport bros. We're, we're world travelers because we have to travel for circumstances. Mm -hmm. Passport bros to me is people in the last five to ten years. Because even military, I'm sorry to cut it off, but even military, them guys been traveling the world for 30, 40 years. Mm -hmm. They're the real passport bros. Oh. But these new age guys, who they call themselves passport bros. They are the guys who um, they weren't thinking about going around the world. Mm -hmm. They wanted they wanted the house picket fence. They wanted the woman in America. They wanted a good job. They just couldn't. Wouldn't, um, circumstances in America wouldn't allow them. Some women are nasty to them. Some jobs they don't get the opportunity, and then you know they don't live a quality life that they want to. Now, I, I, myself who you know travels the world, trust and believe people. You can be in New York City and not get no numbers, and you can easily, and I talk about easily, but you can go to these other countries and you will get a woman to talk to you or you have a better vibe, you may live a different way, different quality of life. So these guys are the new guys, the last five, 10 years, who's finding out. I been new about Africa. I told you I was born for African parents. I yes, already sir. knew I was gonna deal with when I was young, come back to Africa. These guys didn't know, they didn't know Kenya was gonna be like this, you know? So these are pastoral bros who didn't know about the earth too much. They know about the earth, but they didn't know where about the earth they're going. They just got fed up with America about five, ten years ago, got a passport, and they've been around the world going crazy. A lot of them been traveling around the world. So passport bro is a new thing. It's more guys who new age are fed up around the westernized world. They don't settle. They they just fed up around the new age westernized society of the high prices, the uh it's hard to find a woman there, stuff like that. So they just now travel. So passport bro is a, it's guys who've been traveling. Now if you want to talk about the older guys, passport bros, they should be the military guys. Them guys who are going to other countries, stationed in other countries, making babies over there and coming back to America or yeah, whatever. Exactly. Those That's are the real point passport bros. Yeah. For me. That's the real passport bros. But this new age term passport bros, I think, is for the guys who just started traveling five, ten years ago. Because they tired of America, they tired of Europe, you know, they tired of these women over, you know, women or money over there. And they're having a better um, time in Thailand, yep. Kenya, Colombia, you know. Yeah, because um, it is, trust me, believe. it's harder nowadays to live in these countries than I, when I was younger. So I understand some, why these guys are frustrated and say, yo, I'd rather take my money to Colombia, I'd rather take my money to Kenya, you know, because uh, they, they're living a better life. You know, it's just, people find a negative word because they think people are going for women. Now, for you, you are more up to uh, I'm, I'm investments. For, yeah, business investments in, in life, people. Now, women are everywhere in the world. Okay, what country we go to? If you're doing anything with substance, you're going to run into a woman. These men are not going to women. I'll tell you right now, uh, these states in America, a lot of these states, you see this, we'll be looking at people. It might see in the U.S. This look better than half of the U.S. states. So half the time, people are traveling because aesthetically, it looks better to the eye. If I'm in Thailand, it looks better than Virginia people. Virginia might cost more, but Thailand looks, looks good. beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful waters, green waters, mountains flowing, da, da, da. You, you got guys coming coming from these you know cold states and cold cities. They don't get no tropical looks, mm -hmm. and then they drop down and be like, "I can pay here for 200 USD and stay here for two weeks." That's why they. That's why these guys are leaving. Wow. So it has nothing to do with all oh, this women. And then of course, women are there. So of course, women are everywhere. <laughs> so it, 
So people think, oh, I'm, like, I'm not living with a woman. It just looks better. It looks better to where I'm at. And it just so happens it's a beautiful woman there who got some good attitude. Mm -hmm. So people think, oh, I'm just going. Nobody's going to travel the whole world because of one woman over there. No, mm -hmm. it's a better life quality. And then whatever you're doing, if it's substance, you're gonna run into females. Ad, ad, adventure. Yeah, adventure. You doing adventure? You gonna run into women. Women are part of the adventure. Adventure. You know, is it? And, and the women who are complaining is the women who over there who are mad at the men leaving. And that's a problem with them because you have all oh, access to the men. Not because you're leaving to a different country and you're going to interact with someone different. They but start, but uh, the women who are mad is the women who don't want the men, but then they see the men thriving in other countries. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like you, you complain about the men that you don't want. They, these are the men who actually try to talk to you every day. I told you, I live in America also, so when I see that, I see men trying to talk to women. It's not the easiest thing. But then that same man probably can go to DR, Dominican Republic, mm -hmm. and he's talking about he he has five girlfriends. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's not his, it's not his fault. It's just, he's, it's the same man who's going to Thailand, who's going, the guy, I, big time craze I know right now, who, who's in Kenya right now, probably in one of these buildings. Yeah, this guy, these guys actually go to Dallas. They go to New York City. They go to LA. They try to do the same thing they do in these countries in the US. And, 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 you know, some of them one certain they lose, they lose, but they have a better time overseas. You can't fault these guys. Some of these guys are 22, 23 and up. Let these guys have experiences around the world. We live. We are global citizens, people. I tell you all the time. I'm a Liberian, right? But I'm in Kenya. Yeah. And I tell Kenyans, I'm over here because I love it. No. Yeah. I don't need no. I don't need nobody to tell me I need to stay in one spot. We are global citizens. Yeah, because man, you love the country. If this Kenyan man want to go to Liberia and go have fun in my village, yeah. he can go. He's, we are global citizens. So, yeah, if I need to go to Europe and go have fun, I'm Liberia is in West Africa, right? It's in West Africa. I want to be coming to West Africa yeah. very soon. Exxon, you see me in Sweden. Nigeria, like, Ghana, yeah. Liberia. Exactly. Yeah. We are global citizens, people. So, every part of the earth, you get an opportunity to go. You shouldn't be mad at people going to these places. Um, I would rather people in the earth travel the world and learn about the world than people just stay in one mindset and then we're beefing and battling with each other with, with our. Uh, ideologies you know if, if 10 of us are traveling the world we come back and talk imagine the conversations we'll have if, if 10 of us not going anywhere we're not doing nothing imagine you know we're not going to talk about nothing yeah. but 10 of us one going here one going there one is over across the street da, 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 and we you all come to back ja to one Jamaica spot. you talk you tell me about the culture in Jamaica yeah. I tell you about you, tell yeah, that. Said, you see the yeah. guys I work with the Delrays CS Explorers we, we all travel we all have he, they all have their business around the world just like the Black Geo yeah, I told you we're not the only one. So when we all come back and sit down, you saw how I was in New York, we have things to talk about, mm -hmm. you know? Because we're all doing something around the world. So I would rather, I love I see my young guys, 22, 23. It's a young guy right now, I see bubbling up right now, Kenya, having a great time. I love to see that. Why the hell you want my people to be stuck in the U.S. or, or wherever, you know? Yes, sir. Travel, travel. Any country you in, travel your country, and then if you get the opportunity, travel other, another country. You shouldn't be mad that people are going somewhere else. Especially if, you, if you're not if you're not calling this person, regardless if that's your friend or it's the opposite sex, stop worrying about what people want. Because half of you people, I'm in your city and then my friends don't call me. <laughs> I mean, they said I'm right next door. They don't call me. So don't worry about if I'm in Kenya. And they don't worry. Oh, he's in Kenya. Don't worry about me, Kenya. Because when I'm down the street, outside your house, your phone don't work. So don't worry about if I'm across the world. Because when I'm in your town, majority of the time, you don't pick up the phone. So don't worry about when people, you see these guys in Thailand and all this stuff. Let these guys live their life. But then I learned that uh, you you know more places in Kenya more than ourselves. The people yeah. who have been living here. Yeah, yeah, I spent yeah. a lot of time here. Yeah. So what motivates you maybe to uh, go to those maybe the, some places we we presume as dark places? Okay. Going to the slum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, cause I'm from the I'm from that era. <clears throat> I'm not from no Beverly Hills side of town. I tell you all the time. You sit, you sit with a real hustler. Everything you see, I got. Went straight from hustle, grind up since I was 14. And we come from the slums. <laughs> Kibera is not no different than Waterside, where my people, uh, where my side uh, in, 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 in Liberia is. Even the streets I lived in America was the hoods. So I grew up with, with hustlers in these side of town. So they, I'm not no, I'm not. Uh, uh, it's not uh, new to me to go to the hoods or what do you want to call it. I'm from that era. And then I go to that place because you know why? Um, if we stay in the Kilimanjaro. Stay in the Beverly Hills and try to say, this is going to help these people. I try to do it already. These people always act like they got money. And it's not about money. It's just about if you can bring, um, what you can bring to people. Mm -hmm. And I already try to go to people who, um, who is maybe over my level or maybe at my same level, and they always try to flex on me. So I stop working with people who try to flex on me. Because what our business is, we help each other. We bring our business together. We help each other flex. You know what we do. But <clears throat> we bring it to people like Kibera, my people I work with, Mr. Obama, these people appreciate your business, you know? So it, it goes somewhere. 
So that's why. You bring it to wherever the business works. I, I, build I, people I, I, appreciate I, your business, man. Yeah, bro, I'm a, I'm a testimony. You you appreciate uh, yeah. African. We appreciate your friend's business, yeah. especially African business. Yeah, yeah. yeah. African business yeah. number one. That's I why told I you, you I credit here. you for Go See Africa. The yeah. Where we have taken Go See Africa. Yeah. Bro, you have really played a big role in uh, growing this channel. Mm -hmm. And uh, it will be so bad if it will reach a point and I forget what you did to go see Africa. Yeah, yeah. So, I told you guys, the only way to appreciate this guy, subscribe to the Black Geo. Nah, we never going to tell what happened, but we're going to say, once you know they watching, yeah. they try to shit on my man, go see Africa, yeah. they try to leave him out for dead, and I saw that it was an opportunity that we could get grabbed, mm -hmm. and that's what happened, we expanded the studios three yeah. times. Yeah. yeah, you know how it happened? They try to leave him out for dead, and I tell you what the time, this one of the big time creators who came first working with the Black Geo. He's actually head producer of the Black Geo. Yeah. But guess what? We have we already know big time creators. They should be coming and try to give us a leg up. They should see the work that we're doing and say, you know what? I see Go see I see Black Geo back in the, um, uh, Nairobi. Let me go work with him. I see Go see running around. Let me go work with him. Nobody be calling us to work. If you see somebody work we work with, we had to reach out to them. Nobody yes, call sure. us to. Nobody's calling but us. They, all these nobody's people calling have been us. Working, what <laughs> The, the, we, we have to go we, reach we approach, out. We approach them. We have to approach everybody. So from now and forth, we are not approaching it. Yeah, and, and, and if we do approach, because we really appreciate it, but like you said, um, he's, we're already big time careers ourselves. Half the stuff we do, we're getting better views when we're doing it alone. Even you know, you, yourself, then have to go say, let me go get, reach out to this YouTuber or whatever, because now people understand. What, the stuff that we do is very organic. Um, if we even work with some creators that work with us, we don't even know what we, uh, we would have created that day. A lot of stuff you saw is from our script. It's from our views of what we do. We work with these big time creators. We don't know what they're going to do. Yeah. <laughs> we don't know what they're going to say. We don't know where we're going to take them. We don't know where to go. We're going, uh, where we're going to shoot. What's the location? We have locations. Kabir is not just a place we go. It's a location. We have location shoots. Harlem is a location shoot. Pipeline is a location shoot. Mm -hmm. Mabasa is a location shoot. CB is a location shoot. We have Frank with location shoot. We have location shoots. So we don't just go to these places and just walk around. Mm -hmm. No, we have location shoots. We have people who know us in certain places, like Kabira. They can shoot their own. We have but Malango. They, let's appreciate Obama. As yeah, uh, oh, we got, oh, we got the, the not bar. The KCC. Yeah, you know? please, talk to the mayor. Talk to the mayor, man. Talk to the mayor. Mayor, let me address you. Obama, um, we as the Black Geos, we appreciate what you have always done for us, you know? And the, fa the facilitations you have always uh, done for this team. And, and let me tell you something about people. Something about people. Man, okay, I told you I have many networks in many countries. Yeah. But that's what the Black Geo is based here. Because mm -hmm. uh, when, we, when we say give up our equity, like he said, what I had to do for his business. Yeah, you got to be unselfish, people. You yeah. got to give up something for your business to help somebody else's business. Yeah. When Mr. Obama first saw me in his country, I was already investing in his business. He didn't know who I was. He called me one day and said, yo, this is maybe a year in. Mm -hmm. He's like, yo, why the hell you always invest in my business bro? every damn month? I told, him I, I told him what it is. He said, bro, stop doing it. I got you. It's because you, I see your work. I got you. That's been eight years now, eight years later. Yeah. So I said, yeah, people like that, um, you got to appreciate him. Because for my business driving, it starts with people like him. Because the days I needed him, he came in clutch. And I, and he didn't know what he was needed for. He just came in clutch. That's why that business is supposed to be me. You got a networking well, the team. Friend, the friends who became clutch. family. Yeah, you come in clutch. Um, so that's our business, Mr. Mama is. That's how, that's how much he works with our business. He doesn't do the visual, digital side with us, but when we need certain things from our business, he comes in clutch. He comes in. Clutch. All the time. Sure. You know? So yeah, that, that's why we appreciate mm -hmm. Mr. people like Mr. Obama. Because guess what? There are many people who got things like Mr. Obama. They will never give up anything for they, the Black they, they, they don't. I go to their towns, people. Dropping these people's cities, they want me to go and spend my own money, take off my time, my work money, maybe fly from East Africa to go sit in their town. They won't pick me up in the airport, they won't pay my Uber, they won't throw me no keys to no house, they won't give me no car keys. But if it just so happened that I got people who do that for the love in certain regions. So I give love back to people. Yeah, and I told you, these are people who are not blood. So I give the people who are not blood more time than people who are blood sometimes. I'm sorry. That's amazing. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's how it is for me to go see out with Black Geo people. We building a real brand that uh, we had to take time for my own schedule. That's why I told you, yeah, it was a time where I had to step in because he had a, another producer who, uh, who I should be I should be sitting on sidelines. Yeah. Yeah. But when you put yourself, I, I, I'm looking for somebody the same way. 
he had somebody he thought that was going to be running around for his business. And, and they took it like lightly, trying to sabotage. I saw that, and now this man is about to, this child is about to grow maybe 20,000 at the end of this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he's grown past the people who shitting on him. So that's the funny thing. Yeah, the sorry. people who try to play you, yeah, you, yeah. you grew past them. Yeah, sure. So it's crazy, people. That's how business is, and that's why we don't call a lot of people. You humble yourself and put in work. Yeah, we did. We did. Yeah. And, 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 and the thing about it, we took on work. We didn't steal. We didn't steal nobody content. We literally did what we did. It's not like we sat back and looked at somebody's stuff. We literally shot the work that we do already. I tell you, we didn't make it hard ourselves. Yeah. We just said, yo, we do this already. We're gonna shoot. And so we literally shoot before we. What you see on the Go See at Black Geos, what we already saw in our own eyes. We was already doing it. Mm -hmm. And so we just took stuff we were seeing in our own eyes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We're not trying to uh, manipulate people. You know, we, we are small time. We live a journalistic style life. Because even, even style those life. who might be thinking, we might be um, doing what they, start, what they started before. Yeah. Um, we are giving quality yeah. more than they, than they always do. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. We showcase some places in Africa whereby you don't even think of going there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, anywhere, even New York, I mean, these people, you see these people vlogs in these cities and they tucked away in the, in the house. You can't, I mean, like I told you, we, we here on the rooftop, we just showing you, it's, it's a, it's a, we talking about branding here. But majority of our, our, our vlogs, yeah, we, our boots are dirty, I got shoes downstairs, I got to go clean. Yeah, that's what it, mm -hmm. our clothes are dirty, we got dirty clothes. It's a black geo, go see Africa, we get our boots dirty, we get our hands dirty. Yeah, majority of the time, Y'all don't even know the work we do, the leg work. We have time we breathe in, have the time up the hill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bro. this is real. We doing big time network work at a small uh, equity pace. Yeah. That's how people don't know. Mm -hmm. We doing big time work, small equity pace. Because yeah. our vision is crazy. Our vision is like, you know, 20, yeah. 20 50,000. So yeah, so we literally big. giving you, we should be getting, we, you know, what we're worth uh, ourselves is maybe 10,000 what we get right but now. But then last we week, great I, had, we doing great. I had one of the biggest interviews um, uh, hosted by a Grenadian, yeah, someone from yeah, the Caribbean, that, yeah. you know? Yeah. And uh, the objective of this interview was to talk. They invited Go See Africa, me, yeah, yeah. to talk about Africa because mm -hmm. they know what we're doing out here. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So they, you get people from the islands, they, they really learn about Africa through your channel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That's crazy. Exactly. You get, and you see uh, what work? motivated me in the course of the interview I could see some, some people join. They, they are like, is this Go See Africa? Yeah. Yeah? So that really motivated me a lot. It that's, that's gave amazing. me the energy to talk more. Yeah? And Share more about, about that. a beautiful person. Because the majority of people, you want to have a worldwide base. Yeah. So that shows, yeah, you have a worldwide base, people from around the world watching. Yeah. So sometimes you got to worry about Kenya, Kenya, you already Kenya. Yeah. You got the world watching, that's what it's for. Mm -hmm. My show, your show just starts in Kenya. Yeah. But the people who really watch, I love, I, I love the world watch. Rather the world be watching, because you know, they're the ones who really want to know what's going on over there. Kenyans already know what's going on in Kenya. So, mm -hmm. okay, Kenyans don't want to watch it. But guess what? Trinidad want to know. But they don't want to know. They don't know what's Barbados, going on. Yeah, they don't know what's going on. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. They don't know what's going on in heaven like that. So. Bahamas. Exactly. Yeah. U.S. Antigua. So, yeah, like these people don't know. You know, so even places in Liberia, I mean Nigeria, they want to watch. Because Aqua uh, watches our content because Ghana people love to see Kenya. Like love to see, so you'll get people from other countries just to watch your content. Um, but we picked up over time. It just started Kenya. So we're, we're always going to tell people. We're going to work hard and let the, you know, tell the Kenyans come support. But you're always going to flex. I have people in Grenada who love you. Yeah. I have people in Trinidad who show love. I got yeah. people in Jamaica. I got people from the U.S. who show support to the channel. So yeah. Kenya, come support. But let you know this man got great fans around the world also. And don't and, and, and it's another thing. Don't wait till people get super super famous and then you want to start claiming people and then you get mad that this man is in uh in london yeah, for two years right. he's yeah. not back in, 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 in uh, uh, kc mm -hmm. don't expect him to come back and see yeah. when he's in uh, london they need to recognize me as their own yeah, and I mean, you know. it's always a type of content too you know if you were doing i say this if we were doing a bragging content they, I, they don't gotta appreciate it but we literally He's sitting there with the Maasai people. Yeah. He's sitting in the Gunk Hills. We're sitting mm -hmm. in Malango. We're yeah. sitting in Kibera. That's what I said. In we literally with the, yeah. with the people. With the people. Yeah, it's just like, majority of the time my videos, we flip the camera around. You see that all the time. We don't just keep the camera on us and we just show you one singular thing we're talking about. 
these literally cut scenes here, there. You showing this person, you showing this, you giving person, this person a chance. We literally giving, a, we're showing the show of this this country. So yeah, the, some of the countries should be uh, appreciative because um, we could be just flexing ourselves, showing ourselves, or just trying to get to another country like everybody else. Everybody just want to be a world traveler and run away, run away. Yeah. We're world travelers, of course, but our channel was more to tell in the, in the depth story of the country we're in. You know? So we're, right, we're telling a deep story of Africa, deep story of Kenya. Um, we're not just traveling here and then leaving. No, we're sitting in certain places for weeks. Kibera, we've been in there for what? Six, we've been shooting for like six months in Kibera, right? Six months. Six months. We shoot in Gunk Hills. Three, four months. We shoot in New York. What? Four, five months. Yeah. We, we got many places we shoot. But when we shoot these places, we shoot for a, a, at least three, four months to show you in Rift Valley, consistency. In Rift Valley, and, and I was there for three months. Yeah, three months. The, we want you to know places. We can go many places. But wherever we go, yeah. we're going to show you deep, deep footage of these places. And you're going to meet many people through the channels um, that we show you. So that's why I say our channel is more in the depth, um, taking more experience. It's not just you seeing me and you just you fall in love with me. No, you fall in love with the scenery when you see our video. You, show, you fall in love with the views, mm -hmm. the content. And then you might see me talking or flexing or him flexing or whatever, but um, majority of the time, the scenes is what people fall in love with in our videos. Because we yes, show, we show sure. on the earth. We don't, just, we don't just flex to people like, oh, we in Kenya. I'm in the condo. <laughs> you know, like, we don't do it. No, you don't I see just us doing show that show you like that. what's in Kenya. We, start, we said we in Kenya, we're going to hit the people. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, because we're we in a different place. So I said, we're not a flex. We're not running around flexing on people. We're straight, real show business. You see us, we're really trying to show like a show business style wherever we go. But it's like, we're here in this country, or we're here in this city, but we're doing something. We're not just here, I'm yeah. bragging to you, I'm in Johannesburg. <laughs> like, no, I'm in Johannesburg for this reason. Mm -hmm. You know, these places I go. I remember, I told you in the video, I was all born in Morocco to show you the Western Sahara guys who you can tell you a story about, da, da, da. We're not just going to Morocco to flex on people. Yeah, we in Morocco. No. We're not in Kenya just to say we're in Kenya. We're in Kenya for a certain reason. Yeah. You know? True. Yeah, so. It's not that uh, it's more special than any other African nah, country. Because guess what? I can but do this. What we do? We do this right in New York City, right in a regular street. We don't care if we in a regular. We don't care if we in Dubai or we in New York or we in uh, Nairobi. We do regular street content, humbleism, show people. Mm -hmm. I can be right here in the street in New York City. Mm -hmm. I can be in um, London. We, we, don't have to, we don't have to flex on people. Our channels are more journalistic. Now you may see some travel, like we said, but it's more journalistic, way more journalistic. Yeah. yeah. And uh, whether we are in Kenya mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. another mm -hmm. continent, we still talk about Africa. Also, yeah. Oh, the key is Africa. Yeah, yeah. You, so you, always, you always bring up, it's based in Kenya. We showcase Africa to the world, we show the world to Africa. So they're going to know we travel. But they, they're going to know that this started right here where we sit. Whatever we did, it started right here where we sit. Well, of course, we were travelers. So they will see us around the world. But you need to, to come relax with us first, you gotta come and relax with us here. Yeah. You gotta come relax with us. Wow. Now, for now, I think we, we need to end the video for me and then, uh, yeah. yeah, definitely. Shout out to the Fast Pro Bros out there, man. <laughs> y'all keep doing y'all thing. Don't let people hate on y'all. Okay? Keep traveling. All right? And the girls love you over there, and the girls love you over there. I ain't mad at you. Mm -hmm. It's hard in the U.S. over there. Yeah. <laughs> if they call their passport, bro. I am a bro. And, and I'm saying shout out to the passport, bro. Though. And they really like uh, demotivated you from traveling. Then you are wrong. Yeah. Now you need to start appreciating that name and, and passport, travel. Bro. Yeah, passport, bro. If you want to blend in, call yourself a black geo. Mm -hmm. So, you, so they yeah. don't be thinking you just out there sleeping <laughs> with thousands of women. Yeah. They put a bad one, rap on y'all. Let them call themselves a black geo. Yeah, call yourself a black geo. <laughs> they put a bad rap like... Let the best have fun out there, man. Yeah. <laughs> have a good time. Yeah, have a good time, bro. Let's wrap it up. You know what I'm saying? Let's wrap it up, but have a great time in these countries. I'm telling you, have a great time. Yeah, man. Tell them to like subscribe to the channel, too, man. Then, then the ladies need to be soft on us. Yeah. yeah. Oh, ladies, Don't please. be so hard. Calling well, a well, passport, bro. Well, this is this how I'm going to end the video to the ladies talking to the passport, bro. If you see a man, appreciate men in this world. I think what happened was we, technology, we got apps, you know, you see each other so much. Back then it was this, your person, your neighborhood, your school, your town. Yeah. So you really had to go out and see the men in your town, you see the women, and you can literally count on your finger, like, okay, I mean, a little bit, like, okay, I have this amount of women to talk to. I just have, uh, women can say I have this amount of men to talk to. Now, they have all this technology at their disposal. When they see a regular person like me walking the street, nobody makes eye contact no more. Nobody cares. I have women even said, a, a man is regular now. It's regular. Yeah. Back then, I'm, I've seen a man walk down the street, a strong man, a woman probably looked at him like, wow. 
They see us walking down the street, they just... <laughs> Matter of fact, this is what they do. Like this. You walk by... You... They get busy. Now, we, man, we like this. We looking at you, but they like this whole time. Because they're not caring about seeing men, though. So, they got to get back to... Um, uh, what you call it? Us being, us uh, cherishing, seeing men, seeing, forget being with a man. When you see us walking down the damn street, in your country, in your city, make eye contact, be happy, I'm here, baby, because guess exactly. what? Same guy you mad at, that you say you don't want to talk to, tomorrow he's flying to Columbia, and he gonna upload on Instagram, yeah. and he's slapping some Columbia, uh, <laughs> and then you gonna you be crying, some, but huh? then she gonna be on TikTok, yeah, yeah. crying to him. <laughs> <laughs> that same guy was on the street. You have, you was on your phone. You, you he know, walked right by you. You never Get took the, ad, here, the advantage then. <laughs> and, and, yeah, it's not saying these guys. And I, when women, you gonna say, oh, you wanna do that to every man? No, it's about being nice, being humble. Every man I will talk to you. But when they see that uh, that you appreciate men coming by and you say hello, like we appreciate women that we see, yeah. you wanna find one man, of course. That you want to uh, fall in love with. But they have a witness, and uh, I mean that's the difference between African some, women. Some people say it's a soda. I always appreciate, I, I must appreciate ladies who never see them. But, I mean, but you, 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 you do anything for them. You give up your whole life. Yeah, got, uh, yeah, Eleo, Eleo. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, I understand, though, women are the creator of the earth. They are the creator of the earth, trust me. And I do anything for my mother, my sisters, even for a woman I was with, women who I know, I was the ends of the earth. But you understand, the new age women, they're not like my mothers. They're not like my grandmothers. Right. My, my, my mother's soul is the most sweetest soul in the world. Yeah. They did my, my, I have family members who did my mother wrong personally. My mother can have grudges to this day. My mother's in her late 60s, but she still has the sweetest soul in the world. And she'll tell you, yeah, I have siblings who even did me wrong, but I still love them to this day. I have siblings, uh, uh, wives and, and husbands who did me wrong. I have nieces and nephews who don't call my phone, but I'll still say, how you doing? Yeah, you my mother has the sweetest voice. And she will cook for you. I don't care what it is. She let you land in the town. She treats you just like she was yeah. in her 20s. Mm -hmm. Women are not like that to this day, my brother. You land in a town, they don't give a damn you land in a town. Do, do, yeah, they don't care. Do, do, they, do they have a, a basket of food waiting for you when you land in town? No. They no. should eat. Oh, you in town? I got muffins. I got something. Mkate, something. Yeah. Nothing, my brother. Ain't nothing. Nothing. Ain't, bro, I don't give a damn if she like you or not. It's not like you landed with a, a gift basket. No. Yes, yeah, she like you, but you still have to put in work. Now, that's us men. We got to put in work. Well. You know, you know, stand up on your house. You got to work. Yeah, yeah, true. But we don't get anything free. Back then, my mother my father told about even my, his era. My father grew up in a prominent family in Liberia. Um, back then, a woman, um, their father used to say, I'll tell you who the men in the neighborhood will get. And they will send their daughters on missions. Not, it, it's the opposite way around. The men are sending us on missions. Back then, the, the, fathers, ladies be sent. the father sent the woman on the, the daughters on the men. Listen, listen up. Yeah, exactly. This man, he works, he got a big business. You go to his house and bring this uh, uh, chakula, uh, whatever it is, Namanya Buzo, or whatever. Yeah. Go to his house at 3 o'clock. Make people, sure before he leaves. Before that, what we bring his to up and I remember. That's how it used to be. Yeah. Any part yeah, of Africa. Remember. Go to his, you should be the one when he wake up in the morning. He's, the first thing he sees is you bring him some food. He knock on the door. My father says, knock on the door. Beautiful girl waiting for you. Be with my mother, whoever. I got some food. I just want to say, have a good day. And we brought some food. <laughs> Do you know how much that was? That changed a man's life? Yeah. Before I even buy you something, I can remember that. I woke up in the morning hungry, and the first thing I saw was you. You bring me some chakul. But you know how much that was? I, from there to there, that would change her whole perspective. Now they don't do that no more. Yeah, they um, don't. You say you want to get, go out with a woman, first, you're going to have to pay everything. And I wake up in the morning, unless she's your woman, of course, it's probably hard enough to be your woman. I, I, I got people who marry, their women don't cook for them. But um, yeah, I know people who marry, their women don't cook for them. Why are you married? Anyway, that make no sense. Yeah, but then, <laughs> why are you married? If they don't cook for you, why are you there? Well, that's what I'm saying. But it's like... Uh, I, you I, have no bad blood with you, but why are you there? But the, the, I, but man, the man should take care of the family. Of course, but, but family. that's what I said. But the woman yeah. should always cook for the man. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and that's it, because I have men, I have a, one of my, my little brother, his father is from Ghana, right? My little brother. Yeah. His father's Ghanaian. So in the, in, when I lived with him a little bit, his, his Ghanaian father could cook like, I'm not going to lie. He could cook his ass off. So my mother, of course, sometimes was like, oh, shit, let him cook. I was like, okay, yeah, let his ass cook. I ain't gonna lie, that Ghanaians, y'all can, I'm not, I, I'm from Liberia, I'm not gonna hate on neither food, I eat all the foods, but I'm not gonna hate the Ghanaians because my stepfather's Ghanaian. But my father, my mother would cook also. He would lie my mother, and my mother would come home. If my stepfather wanted to talk, jump to me, he could talk, jump to me, because my mother knew it's a, a, her place, you know, out of respect. She 
to respect her man with her. That's how it's supposed to be. If she need to get in the kitchen cook for men, she's gonna cook for men. Uh, nowadays, it's not, it's not authentic to me. For me, like I said, even from Africa to the US, whatever, you can find a woman, but um, it's, 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 it's what you want to deal with. That's what I say. It's what you want to deal with. Mm -hmm. If you want to deal with it, it's up to you. Now, you guys say about me, uh, people, go see after people. I love spending money on myself. Okay, I graduated from trying to be in relationships. Yeah. <laughs> I love spending money on myself, so I'm on a different pace. Don't look at my life like everybody should look like me. I'm a singular person. Okay, everybody else should be trying to get married and try to have kids. Me, okay, I'm on a different godly mission. Yeah. Okay, God said He wanted me to enjoy Be my life. Building yourself first. Yeah, God wanted me to enjoy my life because I was a person where you see how I move anyway. I'm always out trying to see, help yeah, other people. True. That's how I always was when I'm with somebody. So now I'm actually putting that energy in myself. And that's what you see a lot of guys doing now. Um, and the guys who travel around the world, those are guys who actually didn't get a chance. They want to take care of women, they want to be with women in America. They didn't get a chance to because there's many beautiful women in America. Many beautiful women in America, trust me. But they can't. You know, it's hard for them. So they got to go to another country. And they just find an uh, opportunity to fall in love or just to have just to be with multiple just to have women who like them. Bro, trust me, it's a big thing people understand when you be in you in a country, these first world countries where you're not gonna find women who like you all the time, but then um go to a country, you, you're gonna say, oh, they only like you in this country because you're from the US. Who cares? We, you, uh, 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 guess what? Because guess what? You you you're unique. You're unique. I just said. When you walk in a country like US, they say you're regular. Oh, you're just regular. Okay, cool. When I go to Kenya, I'm unique. <laughs> okay? So I'll be regular so over there, you, but I'm, you, I'm unique over here, okay? You better, feel, you better feel good when you are... Because they always say think I'm regular because you see me every day or you see you see the same type of person like me every day. But then you, I go to a country like Kenya, Kenya where I don't speak the language. I may speak, of course, you know, I'm learning, but I don't speak no language. That's not my language. And then they're like, oh, you speak in some other... It, 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 it's, it's different. It's like but if it's, you went to Liberia... It's not different from my case. But I'm when uh, I, 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 I usually castigate Kenyans for not supporting me because yeah. I'm regular here. Mm. But mm -hmm. to other people, I'm important. Exactly, exactly. If you go to Liberia and say, I'm a Kenyan man from Liberia, bro. Liberian girls gonna be all over. Because they don't, they don't hang out with Kenyans like that all the time. It's the same thing. Yeah. You People, you oh, you wanna... Colombia people don't see these type of U.S. people all the time. <laughs> uh, Italian people, sure. of course. So they go, if, a, if, a, if this Kenyan man dropped down in, in New York, he's going to back up half the girls there, of course. Mm -hmm. You are from Kenya. They're going to yeah. hear his accent. Mm -hmm. They're going to hear his accent. Like, oh, he's from Kenya. Mm -hmm. They're going to want to know where you're because he's unique. Yeah. Yeah, first like me talking, it's going to be, it's regular. I sound like their cousin. Uh, mm -hmm. But of course, you come with a whole, them guys who come from the U.K., mm -hmm. from London. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, 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 no. They back up all the girls in you. Because guess what? It's unique. Yeah. I never talk nothing about if a guy come with London accent, I shut up. I let mm -hmm. him talk. Mm -hmm. Let him bag up. It's unique. <laughs> so don't talk about what you see this guy. Oh, they only like you because you're from the US. <laughs> of course, it's unique. They don't see these type of people every day. But you you see the same person and you're crying that he's he's regular. He's regular. Okay, that regular person is a guy right now. Young guy you could be dating right now. He's bubbling up, his YouTube is bubbling. Young guy, he's he's right now, he's he's killing Kenya right now. Killing Kenya. Kenya you he got Kenya Nash already his videos yeah. already. He's a U.S. person. He said he left U.S. because he left his job and a woman over there was acting crazy. New guy, new young Jay-Z. Yeah. Y'all could be dating him right I now. I need to check out to him. Better views. I mean, yeah. I ain't gonna I lie. He's a young guy. The other YouTubers, y'all big time creators. Y'all got like 100,000. Y'all need me. But uh, better views. You out there. I watch your content. The boy bubbling up here in Kenya. <laughs> and he's an American guy too. So that's what I'm saying, uh, people in the U.S. You got American guy. Don't get mad when this guy over here showing beauty, Kenyan woman in his content. Because mm -hmm. he already killing it right now. And so that's what happens. You don't appreciate people. You never know they might be right next door or right standing to you. You take take um take advantage. If you don't, don't appreciate me, then I move there. Then you start calling me uh calling me now, a, do. a passport bro. You gonna move to Trinity? Though. You gonna move to Trinity? Mm -hmm. And they gonna say, oh you know that guy go see Africa? Oh he uh, he Kenyan. They, they, they all the kings wanna start claiming you because mm -hmm. you from Kenya. Th these are no, no 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 no. I'm Trinity now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Trinity now. <laughs> don't say, don't say because you don't get now famous in Trinidad. Oh, oh, he's king, he's king. He's king. Stop saying I'm king, I'm king. I'm Trinidad now, bro. I'm Trinidad. Because when I was king, you wasn't claiming me. You like never claimed me. Yeah, you yeah, never so supported I mean, me. Yeah. Look, I'm telling you, I, I just, my father would told me, mm -hmm. yeah, he Liberian, yeah, he Yoruba, yeah, he Basa, but we global citizens. Yeah, I don't give a damn. Yeah. I might end up in Namibia. I might end up in Brazil. I've been to Brazil, in some of these countries around the world I speak mm -hmm. about already. So if I end up there, I'm a global citizen, people. We are we are related to the oldest people on the earth, Homo sapiens sapiens. That means we've been around this whole globe. Yeah. So don't tell me I need to stay at one spot, okay? That's you. 
I could be all, if I get the opportunity, I have to go there, we're gonna go there. Mm -hmm. Not what, yeah. yeah. Got nothing to do with I even speak the language or what? It's mm -hmm. opportunity. It was whatever I had to go. Wow. You know? That's wow. people you gotta realize. Mm -hmm. You know, you're gonna get many opportunities with what, what you're doing in your business. And if you gotta go to Trinity, yeah. Yeah, you go to Trinity. You got nothing to do with, because uh, I'm Kenya, I gotta stay in Kenya. So, if yeah, I feel no, no, uh, I go, I, better somewhere else, I just move. Yeah, because your business is a world business. Whether they call me a passport, bro, or not. Your business is a world business. Where my bases are based. I'm based because this is where I want to sleep. <laughs> now, my business is a world business. <laughs> it goes all across the world. Wow. We choose King because we, we may be from King or we want to sleep good. So we choose King. Check but him out. But we're a worldwide the business. The Black Geo. Yeah. But we're a worldwide business. Mm -hmm. It's a worldwide business. But we mm -hmm. choose King because of base. Any company has a base uh, city. It may be based in some town. But they're somewhere across the world too, right? That's how I, that's how this would go see having Black Geo. Yeah, we may be based in Nairobi. But we always somewhere across the world with it too. So, it, it, but it's, we always tell people this is our base. We choose a base, beautiful country, a beautiful city. Yeah. You know, but but don't think we just gonna sit here and just do uh, this. No, we're gonna show you our headquarters. Then we're gonna show you the what we do mm -hmm. uh, away from the headquarters. Wow. Because you know? it's a network, people. It's a business. Your business is supposed to call, spread across the world. Wherever it starts from, it's supposed to go somewhere else. Wow. You know? Amazing. Yeah, man. No, we are going to end the video here. My name is Go See Africa. I was with my friend here, Shabi from the Black Jew. Yes, I'm telling you. Check whenever him out. Whenever we do a video with KO, you know it's going to be live. Amazing. So whoever is watching us for the first time, kindly go ahead and subscribe. Have a good bye.